and welcome back. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel, honey. I got so much content coming. Y'all just do not want to miss out on this. And if you're already subscribed in, <laughs> hey, girl. If y'all want to know how I got this bomb-ass hairstyle, I mean, with the finger waves dropped down on the side, and I got some sponge curls going in the back, are y'all looking for something for the summertime to rock that's sexy, edgy, and cool? Then y'all came to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the products I use to create this look so I can feel confident when I walk out in public with my alopecia edges. In this video, we're going to start out with freshly washed hair. And so if y'all ready to see how I got this look, then let's go on to the video. Let's go. My hair has been towel dry, but I like to wear my hair just in a curly, natural state. So I'm just going to go back in and mist it with my... Um, Cantu Shea and water mixture here just to add more moisture in my hair. And then I'm going to go in with my Cantu Shea Butter. I did just pick this up yesterday from my local beauty supply store. And this Cantu is infused with argon oil. It is a leave-in conditioner and it also repair. It's a repairing cream. I'm going to take a generous amount of that. When I say generous, <laughs> your girl ain't playing. Okay, and I just rub that all the way throughout my hair, the edges, the sides, the back, the nape, the crown, everywhere. Hairstyle. This is my go-to hairstyle because the weather is hot. I'm in Georgia. It's summertime. I mean, it's very hot. So down here. So this short TWA is perfect for the weather. I just love it. This is a very get up and go type of hairstyle. It's very low maintenance, which I love. You know, I don't want to spend all day in the bathroom doing my hair when it's like 90 degrees outside. So, yeah, we're not doing that. All right, so the next product I'm going in is with this uh, Blue Magic Originals. It's infused with Indian hemp. Uh, I did mix my own concoction in here, so this is not the original color. I got all my extra added in here. So, if you want to see how I made this DIY uh, hair growth serum, it's over on my channel, so go back and watch that. And I take a generous amount of this because I'm making sure my hair does not dry out on me. And I just like to give my scalp a nice, good massage. Just promote growth, stimulate those hair follicles so you can get healthy blood flow back to the hair strands. All right, so once we have that in, I'm gonna go in with my Eco Styler. Uh, this is one of my new faves. I just uh, bought this probably about a week or two ago. That's how much I use so far. This product cost me $7.99. And this one is infused with uh, coconut oil. Max Hold, and it's the number 10. So I like to go in, and this is going to get my curls really, really juicy. It's going to get them popping. It's going to add definition to my hair. And I put a generous amount of that in it as well. Now with this, it's probably going to turn my hair white, but as my hair dries throughout the day, uh, the white cast will go away and it will be normal. All right, so to form my curls, I just go in and start raking my fingers through my hair like this. I just start pulling the curls up and out, and that's going to start forming the curls. And I like to bring my edges down we will be covering our edges that's my problem area so in order for me to feel confident and to go out in public i have to make sure my edges are covered up so you just want to start grabbing some hair and dragging it towards your face so i do know i want to part in my hair and i love to part i like to part my hair on my left side which would be your right side looking at me through the camera lens going to add some more of this eco styler in the part and that's just going to keep the hair separated and keep my part defined and so at this step i like to go in and just make sure i add a lot more can to to the hair and this is just reassuring that my curls is going to be popping and it's going to reassure that the hair is not going to dry out on me throughout the day And I just, I noticed my hair loves the can too. It loves the DIY hair growth serum. It just adds a lot of extra slip and a lot of my hair just feels soft and manageable all day long. 
and I just like to finger roll the back and I just like to massage the hair and for some reason that actually rolls my hair as well and makes the curls pop all right so let me go ahead and pull some hairs out because as you can see I have a huge forehead <laughs> so we're going to minimize that by uh, adding a couple baby hairs down on our forehead. If you got a big forehead, then y'all go ahead and add some baby hairs. If you don't like baby hairs, y'all feel like y'all are too old, too grown, too mature for baby hairs, then y'all can just skip this step. I'm just going to add a little bit more Cantu to my baby hairs for a uh, stronger hold on your baby hairs. If you want to add the got to be glue gel, you can also do that as well. I'm going to add a couple waves right here on the side of my head. Y'all do whatever desired style y'all want to do to y'all own head. That's fine with me. I'm just doing what I like. Make sure you bring some hairs towards the front. And that's going to, um, it's going to hide our problem area. So these, this could be styles for uh, natural hair with alopecia. So this could be a TWA style for natural hair with alopecia. And I like a little height on top of my head is why I like to drag the curls and pull them up and outward on top. And that just gives me a little bit more height. It'll make, it doesn't make me look totally bald headed as if my hair is super short. So I like to pull my hair up. All right. So for this side, just lift the hair up and then start pulling the hair down in like little sections. And that's going to help cover the problem area. You can also go in and just be a little fancy, adding a couple of waves all the way down, just doing whatever you want to do, freestyling. And then I just like to press the hairs in, and that way when the hair is dry, it'll kind of be, you know, stuck to the hair. So whenever the wind blows, you want to have that security where you're uh, edges are not going to be revealed in the wind or they're not going to blow away with wind okay <laughs> all right y'all so now we got the desired look i want for the front of my hair the curls are really really juicy the curls are popping my hair looks very healthy the pro okay so for the back of the hair i have one of these sponge rolls i don't like a lot of definition i can't sponge roll the whole hair because i don't want the edges to be you know showing so what I'm going to do is take the smaller holes and I'm going to start rolling, sponge rolling just the bottom portion of my hair, the back, because I want more definition in the back. And you don't want to press really hard. You just want to roll the tops of the hairs. And that's what's going to give you uh, the, that nodding effect. And you just keep rolling, keep rolling. You might want to roll for maybe five to seven minutes just in the back to make sure uh, everything has been really defined. And this just adds more texture and definition to the hair step. And I like to roll the hair in an upward motion. So I start at the nape, down low at the bottom, and then I gradually work my way up, maybe in four sections. So this is like the second section that I'm gonna move up a little further. This will be the third section here. And then I move up fourth to the fourth section and roll that as well. So for the edges right now, as you can see, uh, it has like that white cast from all our products. But as the hair dries throughout the day, that will uh, dry clear. Periodically, you know, maybe every hour, every two hours uh, during the drying process of my hair, I'm going to go in and start lifting the, the, the top. So I'm lifting now while the hair is still wet, but when it's in a damp state, like maybe a 70, 80% dry, I'm gonna go back in with the rat tail and lift it even higher. Cause I like a lot of heights. I'm very dramatic. And these are definitely old school baby hairs. <laughs> old school baby hairs, but I like them. So it helps to minimize that big old forehead of mine. So it works for me. I just like to pull some of this hair forward, just like that. And I'll press it in and it'll dry like that as well. Just rechecking the back of my hair to make sure I don't have any holes or uh, very noticeable separation. 
uh, between the curls. So I'm just taking my fingers and just raking some of the hair into place, making sure everything is still cute. And there you have it. We'll just go ahead and let our hair dry as is. You can uh, fast dry this by using your blow dryer. You will have blow dry it on high or medium heat. And that'll get the hair dry faster. If you're in a rush and have an event or something to go to, or you have to be at work, you can go ahead and blow dry the hair as well. So there you have it. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back as soon as the hair is fully dry and I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, in a minute. Y'all just stay tuned for the final look. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something amazing today. I went on here with the sponge roll and sponge roll the back to add more definition to the back of my nape area. And yes, this is the hairstyle. Uh, my hair feels amazing. I see the curls are really, really juicy. I have life and body and shine back to my hair. And that was the goal that we had wanted to establish today. So, if you like this video and like what you guys saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I will have more DIYs, hacks, routines, and regimens to regrow back our alopecia edges, as well as styles that we can rock out in public and feel confident about ourselves. All right, so go ahead, do what you need to do, and I will see you guys again in my next tutorial.